So we are back and we are going to take a look at Armored Core 3. Uh, we did a little bit of Armored Core 2, another age, but that was truly just like the expansion of expansions. Uh, I've been talking about how a lot of the sequels just feel like they're a slight expansion of the previous game, uh, two excluded because that one was like a rework from the ground up, but, uh, Armored Core 2, another age, nice game. I mean, it felt like it was a slight improvement over Armored Core 2, but there really wasn't a hell of a whole lot else going for it. Uh, strictly missions, no arena, uh, no story of any sort that I could tell. Something might develop in like the <clears throat> mission descriptions over time. I'm not too sure, but, uh, I think if we're going to try and rush through a game, I want to maybe something that has a little bit more substance to it. So uh, we'll check out Armored Core 3. I think this one will probably be a little bit, uh, I don't know, there might be something more to it. But let's take a look, see how it goes. Been having some issues with the PS2. Uh, Just with this past game, really hasn't even been an issue with uh, Armored Core 2 or any other PS2 games I've been playing while I've been using the PS2 Fat, the original one. Um, but sometimes audio like cuts out on the left-hand side, so something like that happens, which hopefully it won't. Uh, just make a slight adjustment here. I will say when I first got this game, this game was scratched to hell, and uh, a few years ago I went to get it resurfaced, so... Hopefully it's not going to cause us too many issues. It is a DVD-ROM game. Hey, what's going on, Lyra? Good to see you. Uh, it is a DVD-ROM game, so I'm kind of hoping that it's not going to cause us too many issues. But <laughs> if something happens, then uh, just prepare yourselves, because it might. Uh, it might. Let me just put it that way. Uh, with the previous description of the last game, with Armored Core 2, Another Age, it was like, eh... There's political unrest, but you don't care. You're a mercenary. Who cares about all that shit? Uh, so, <laughs> that, that just like further emphasized the fact that there there was no story in that game whatsoever. So let's take a look here. Back of the box for Armored Core 3. While well, this uh, pre-rendered video plays in the background, control of the Earth is still undecided. I guess we're still on Earth now. It's like. Armored Core 2 was strictly on Mars. Now we've all forgotten about that. Who cares about Mars now? It's all about Earth. Coming back to Earth. Uh, it's been 20 years since Earth government and the corporations battled for supremacy. Another mysterious entity has entered the picture, snapping up all available ravens for intense missions that only their custom-built Armored Core units can handle. As a raven, you know there's always another mission waiting for you. Does it really matter who hires you? We didn't think so. But just the same, keep your back covered, Raven. Oh, okay. So this is like the same tone that our, the Armored Core 2 and other age back, uh, back of the box was. And it's like, eh, whatever, who cares? Um, oh, this is interesting, all new engine. Every element of the gameplay has been redesigned to get you into the action immediately. Okay, that might be nice. Uh, 50 all new solo missions, that's quite a bit. Most of the, I think, what, Armored Core 2 had like 32 maybe? Well, maybe a little more. 40, I think, is what we clocked out with uh, when I was able to do all of them. So maybe like 50 total, but not necessarily are expected to do 50 to get through an immediate playthrough. Uh, all new weapons and upgrades. Every part piece, weapon, everything has been completely reinvented. All new graphics and tighter gameplay. That's what uh, Another Age said. Series has never looked better, and the DualShock analog controller handles AC's movements like never before. No shit. Maybe we could finally use the analog stick for camera control. I didn't, again, I think I said this uh, when we were doing Another Age, but I didn't think they used that until Nexus, which is kind of like the series after this. Because I, I think it goes 3 and Silent Lion are the two that kind of correspond with each other, and then I think Nexus starts off the final trilogy on the PS2. Um, let's see. Drop feature. Jettison empty weapons from your AC to move faster. That's interesting. <laughs> Do we have to pay for them to get them back, though? Uh, okay. Cool. I'm gonna forgo looking at the uh, instruction manual for just now. Hopefully we can kind of feel things out, but might not be the case. Right. 
no loading up any save files here. This one's starting fresh. Uh, sound difficulty and controller settings can be adjusted here. I think we'll just stick with normal. Stereo or Dolby Surround Pro Logic 2. Let's turn that vibration function on. Uh, let's stick with the old classic. Oh, the start button doesn't bring me to the end. One entity ruled the world. It was simply called the controller. The controller handled the major decisions I got one in my hand right now. Life. People took it for granted that the controller would handle every aspect of their lives for them. Under the rule of the controller, people lived safe yet uninspired lives of a promised prosperity. As time went on, several powerful factors known as corporations came on the scene. In their separate struggles to gain absolute power, the corporations waged war upon each other. The controller even manipulated the corporation's war. All was going according to the plans of the controller, but somehow the forces of chaos began to rise. I think it's the same VA that has a voice from Nell. Who I think did the girl from Project Phantasma. And then I think had another role <laughs> in the uh, other Armored Core game after that, Master of Arena. Keep bringing her back. She must be a staple employee down at From. Or whoever they're handing off their transcriptions to. We're nearly there. I'll go over the mission one more time. Your objective is to eliminate all forces occupying the city. The targets are battle MTs. Complete the mission and you'll be registered as a Raven. Gotta go through another this test, huh? Once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't blow it. Well, it looks like cutscenes are back at least. Move out. Engaged. Let's see, can I use... Oh good, I could use the analog stick to move. I could use left analog stick to move, but I can't use it to control the camera, unfortunately. Is this guy helping out? To less of the circular HUD attributes from another age. Seems a little bit more like the classic layout. That keeps getting in my line of fire. I don't know about that apple boy. But okay. Nice looking little environment. You know, I thought they did a pretty good job transitioning from the PlayStation 1 to 2. I thought the graphics actually leapt up quite a bit, but past two games, Another Age and 3, both, I think look substantially better. Ah, uh, mail's back. Nice. Sender Lane Myers, welcome Raven. Good day, Raven. Let me take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Lane Myers, and I'll be acting as your Global Cortex Liaison Representative. As I'm sure you're aware, Global Cortex is in a business of dispute resolution. The firm makes its money by hiring out Raven, such as yourself, to clients in need of our special brand of mediation. In our role as intermediary, we arrange mission assignments, offer a selection of mission escort units, and provide access to AC repair and shop facilities. You have our full backing. All we ask is you perform, you perform your best. The mission assignments you choose to accept and how they are carried out is up to you. Global Cortex will not interfere with uh, regard to these decisions. Please note, though, that if trouble should occur during a mission, Global Cortex will not intervene on your behalf. Again, let me welcome you aboard. I look forward to working with you. 
the controller. This message is to notify Citizen 0824-FK3203 of their authentication as a Raven, which includes the right to operate ACs in support of activities registered through Global Cortex. Keep in mind that your actions while holding this position must at all times adhere to the laws set in place for maintaining order throughout Layered. Reports of any questionable activities will result in your immediate dismissal and the revoking of all rights and privileges associated with being a raven. Good luck in your endeavors. Nice. Okay. And the arena's back. Optional part, shop. Oh, the shop is now in the garage. Cockpit. Let me change some of this stuff up. Oh, uh, enemy heat, enemy weapon, enemy energy, enemy data, like what? No, that's too intrusive. I think literally that's like their energy gauge. I don't care about that. <laughs> uh, outer heat, speedometer, altimeter. No, nope, nothing tells me how many enemies are left on the map. That's like the one additional HUD piece that I liked from AC2. Uh, let's change the overall color scheme to blue. I think I like that a little bit better. Easier on the eyes. Gotta name that AC. Once again, they have such a weird uh, layout for the letters. There we go. Sample color. Cold blue. That's fine. <laughs> Just do something to knock it out from the default for right now. Not gonna go too crazy. Maybe off stream, we'll see. Uh, yeah, there's not going to be anything additional. I don't even know if they give me a hell of a whole lot of money to begin with. Let's see. The shop is now a bit condensed into here. There's still, uh, yeah, there's still heat stuff. Need a radiator, unfortunately. That sucks. What am I looking for? Bank unit arm unit R. There you go. Oh, I got zero credits right now, so probably no point in looking at any of the stuff. I think even in the previous games they served you off with something. First layer, District 2. Sort of looks like a similar mission structure to uh, another age. Defend the arena. Requested from Global Cortex, Operation Arena, or Area Arena, Enemy Forces Unknown. Objective, destroy all enemy forces. Information has come to light regarding a possible terrorist attack on Global Cortex interests. Why is the voice solo? The instigators have yet to be revealed, but there is no mistaking their intentions. Needs to, needs to be boosted up a little bit. As far as we know, they plan to disable one of our arena facilities and force the cancellation of an upcoming match. Stand by on scene and make sure the attack does not succeed. I don't like how I'm not getting paid for this. An overwhelming show of force must be brought to bear so that our response isn't misinterpreted. Hostilities against Global Cortex are not tolerated and will be dealt with accordingly. Due to our stance on this matter, your reward will be determined by the number of enemy units destroyed. Ah. Well, there you go. Operation Codename Fighting Dogs. Recommended Raven Rank C. <laughs> I don't know what rank I'm at. There are more than we expected. Be careful. Ah, 
I tricked you. Go for the old alley oop. As much range with the uh, blade as I thought I might. The range on the missiles is a little bit extended. Does they look like it. Nice thing is the weapon switch seems to be a lot faster than Armored Core 2. This harkens back to the uh, quickness of the weapon switch in the PlayStation games, which is much faster than 2. This guy's a little late to the punch. Looks like I might have an anti-missile of some sort. Probably should take a look at all the parts that I had equipped. But every once in a while something will shoot out and destroy one of the missiles that comes at me. Look out behind you! This guy shot me. I think he was trying to go for the small thing, but... Still shot me. Well, special edition, we've got a decent amount of money, I suppose, to start off with. Battle MTs, 1500 each, 500 for the MTs. I just had the uh, unfortunate ammunition expenditures and the AC repair cost. We'll meet again. Guide us. Look at that emblem he's got. It's all animated and stuff. You're quite a pilot, Raven. I like your style. You make a good team, and hopefully we'll have a chance to work together again. Maybe so. Okay, we got a new uh, district we can select from now, but let's take a look at this. End employee standoff. Quest or crest. Operation area of the Zidane Weapons Factory. Seven MTs. A group of employees, unhappy about our decision to shut down the Zidane weapons factory, have taken over control. Oh, excuse me, the Zidane. They've modified the factory's MTs for combat and are using them to keep the demolition team at bay. I remember this mission. <laughs> it's like a bunch of construction equipment. 
closing the factory was a difficult decision, but had to be done in order to accommodate the need for more housing. Every day we are delayed is costing huge sums of money. We're sending you in to end the standoff and get the project back on track. Eliminate all targets in the factory. You got it. Consort select. Close range MT unit equipped with a shotgun blade. What? These are like. Will they come with me? <laughs> I guess if uh, you feel like you need a little bit of backup on the mission. I'm just going to go it alone, I think. Operation Mousetrap. System engaged. I don't know. Those MTs are no match for these. The cranes have laser weapons. Teach you to rebel. That's all of them. Let's head out. Objective. No worker strikes on my watch. All right. Ammunition costs outweighed the AC repair on that one. Crest, the toothpaste company. <laughs> if only they could handle the writer's strike so quickly. Yeah, unfortunately, they're just not willing to do what's necessary. They're not sending in mechs to eliminate those people on strike. Good work, Raven. We appreciate your help. If a few factory jobs have to be sacrificed for the greater good of society, then so be it. It's a harsh reality, but the decision to redevelop Sector 303 was made by the controller, and we aren't uh, about to stand in the way. We sincerely hope that you'll continue to assist us so that order can be maintained. And one from Lane. Since its inception, Layered has been governed by the controller, a complex and extremely powerful AI computer system. Needless to say, the importance of the controller's existence is hard to deny. All aspects of life for those living in Layered are managed and maintained by the controller. However, there seems to be some disconnect among Layered's population and the number of uprisings has increased in recent years. Perhaps the very system that is Layered is coming apart. Those who died today did so because they resisted the controller, but I still can't help feeling sorry for them. Wondering if the reason why the game feels so quiet was because of the um, component cable not being plugged in all the way, but I don't think that's it. I'm gonna take a look at these arm units. I hear that there is. What do we got? Rifles, sniper rifle, machine gun. Somebody was talking about it relatively recently, but like there's like a pretty dang good machine gun. I 
trying to see. Let's take a look here. Sidus or Sidus, welcome. How you doing? Worker strike, literally AC without robots. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple that were manned, but for the most part. Uh, let's see, number of ammo, 1,000 on that, Jesus. This one's got 500. This might be a good starting one to go with. I tip, well, I didn't like too many of the machine guns in Armored Core 2, but they got me through the first handful of missions. I think we're doing okay with the rifle for right now, but that's probably gonna change. Not too long after we get into the meat of matters here. We're on the third layer, there's only one mission here. Secure the mine, request a barrage, operating area, grand mining facility. 21 MTs, that's quite a few. What's up, Preta Maniacs? Welcome. Dabbing up third generation AC. Yeah, well, we had tried uh, another age, but that one was feeling a bit shallow, although they did seem to have quite a few missions since it was boasting up to like 100 or something like that on the back of the box. So uh, I'm sure there was plenty of gameplay to go around, but I wanted to check out something that maybe had a little bit more meat to it. So looking at AC3 right now. We'd like you to execute an attack on the Grand Mining Facility. Kisaragi has played a leading role in the mine's operation and just recently uncovered a rich vein of rare metal ore. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Uh, Tribe 26. Needless to say, the ore has considerable value and we're unwilling to allow Kisaragi to corner the market. After consultation with other corporations, it was decided that the mine's resources are to be equally distributed and that we, Mirage, will take over its day-to-day -day operations. However, Although Kisaragi agreed to this, they continue to mine the ore and are in clear violation of the arrangement that was settled upon. Just doing it anyway. We want to avoid damage to the mine and its assets, but all Kisaragi personnel are to be removed from the facility. Why are all these people rebelling? Just do what you told. Nice to do. Thank you for that. Appreciate the follow as well. Thank you guys. I don't think we need those stinking consorts. Let's just see if we can go about the solo. Also, the uh, mission description people seem to be getting a little bit more serious as the uh, games go on. Ultra goofy in Armored Core 2, but uh, slightly goofy in another age, and now it's somewhat serious. I mean, no promises. We are dealing with live fire here. seeing the arrows pointing up thinking just based off of previous interactions with other games that means that the enemies are above me but uh, height is indicated by uh, colors I suppose red I guess is being up there on level with you uh, another good thing it seems like our blade can actually reach a lot of these enemies now even if they're on kind of the shorter side a bit of a problem with that with my previous melee weapon in the other game. Oh, what are you guys doing? Destroying the mining equipment. Oh, another thing I probably should have taken a look at again is maybe to see if there's any hidden parts anywhere, but oh well. Actually, want to look for a better generator. Seem to be doing okay with the current weapons that we have. But this generator ain't great. Destruction. 
location of all enemy targets confirmed. Great work, Raymond. Okay. Music makes this mission seem so dire. Special deduction. Oh, yeah. I did destroy one container. That was my fault. Oh, well. Payout was okay. You know, all things considered. Serious beans. The music made it seem like we were in a serious situation. But I guess you have to take your mercenary work fairly seriously. this one hopefully the 1-1 one, one resale value still applies here because this thing ends up sucking then I ain't gonna be none too happy but I think we might be okay uh, more weight I'm assuming is that what that means yeah oh wait 462 energy drain a little bit less uh, less attack power but Fire rate, I'm assuming, is going to be a little bit better. Why not? Let's see how it works. I don't like why the, why are the new males at the bottom? <laughs> they should be at the top. Easier to access. I don't want to, like, scroll all the way down every time i got to get a new male. Uh, from Mirage, nice job for a newcomer. We hope we can count on your continued support. Press notion that they are the controller's selected representatives is becoming intolerable. Laird has matured, and it's time to forge ahead to the next level. We here at Mirage are prepared to make that happen, Raven. It's time to make a decision. We're confident you'll make the right one. I barely just got started. Why? <laughs> Why do I gotta make these decisions? Let's see. E9. What the hell? Oh, E, D. We got letter categories before we could actually get into some of the bigger, badder stuff. Is there S ranks? Oh no. Ace, of course, number one. A1. He earned the top position after defeating BB, who was long considered the arena's best. He strives for perfection and never lost a single match during his rise to the ranks. For now, he trains rigorously and awaits the next challenger. Arcadia. That is a beefed up looking AC. Got two guns on the back. Some sort of. I don't know if those are weapons, or it could be like mine launchers or something on the arms. Big old rifle. What's this guy? AD? AD of? Adu? Oh yeah, Adu. Uh, he has little experience, and is plainly evident in every respect. His AC is poorly equipped and would stand almost no chance at the arena's iron levels. He's garnered a small fan base, given his willingness to try, but harsh lessons await. <laughs> Why not? Let's dash those hopes. Um... Maybe. Watch me get my shit kicked in. Hey, the parking garage is back. Wasteland. Kind of looks familiar. Reservoir. Abandoned factory. Straight up arena. I was finding in Armored Core 2's arena that it was um, super, super just straightforward for the battles. And I, most of the battles, I wasn't even trying to gimmick up or anything. Any sort of structures or stuff that I could potentially hide behind just sort of hampered me, so I typically ended up just uh, going through and doing the regular arena, like standard dome. Right behind you, buddy. I'm trying to take a look and see where his health is at, but I guess it's right under mine. Yeah, machine gun definitely not doing that much damage. It chips away awfully fast if you can get a good lock in there, but at the same time, it's like, you just shoot me with a regular thing. It's probably not going to be too viable after a minute. I wanted to try and hit him to see if I can... 
get a readout on how much damage the laser blade does, but it's like his rifle stops me in my tracks. It's not as bad as getting stun locked in. Oh good, they actually give me the option right off the bat instead of just thrusting the replay upon you. But it's not as bad as getting stun locked in AC2. Still slightly annoying though that I can't like connect any of the melee attacks. 1500 credits acquired. Wake up! An arena pilot of great skill once. He has had nothing but losses ever since a certain traumatic event. He claims to have put it behind him, but there's no doubt that he still struggles with the... What? After effects. There we go. <laughs> it was a weird looking word for a second. I always wonder if he can bounce back. Echo head. Well, what was the traumatic event? If I beat him, he's got to tell me. Global Cortex. Congratulations on your first victory. We hope that you'll continue to advance through the ranks. Each time you hit a certain rank, we'll present you with an AC part reward. Interesting. Uh, the reward this time is a back part modeled under CWM S60 10. Uh, those classic AC naming conventions. Memorable. That's what I say. At least they told me what it was. I mean, every time they give me a part, I don't even know if half the time they'd show me a picture. They're just like, hey, you got something new. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what? What is it? Can I get a hint? Uh, let's see. Small missile max lock on is 10. Weighs more. That sucks. Uh, number of ammo, 60. Everything else is the same. I mean, I'm not using the missiles too much, but why not? If I could use it without being overweight, then yeah, sure. Oh, thinking about it. Hey, there's no sell option, or is there? Spec select. Maybe I need to go into assembly. Part is already equipped. Oh, sell. Okay, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! The 1 1 resale value is no longer applicable. That sucks. Well, with the previous Armored Core games, if you bought something, you could sell it back to the shop for the exact amount that you bought it for. <laughs> now it's not even like half. Well, how much is that? Good lord. That sucks. Well, let's stick with the machine gun for a minute and see how well it serves us. Another mission back in the first layer, escort transport from Kisaragi. A bomb has been planted on one of our transport vehicles traveling the A-24 superhighway. The bomb is designed to explode if the transport decelerates, so we'll have to defuse it on the fly. We're clearing the highway and redirecting the transport to a remote area, but a contingent of enemy units has taken up positions along the route. Please ensure that the transport reaches our bomb disposal team without incident. They'll take care of matters from there. Be aware that if the transport comes into contact with anything, the bomb may explode. Okay. Operation name Allegro. Raven, get moving. Clear a path for the transport. System engaged. Raven, clear a path for me. Trying. Raven, move. Oh shit. <laughs> Mission failed. Oops. You know what I haven't been doing? Thinking about it, I haven't been saving, so I can't reload. So we didn't get any deductions.
Hopefully they uh, don't advance all of the missions. I'm fine with losing one, but... <laughs> Get to save David load, emblem stuff, options. Let me take a look at the options here. There's no option for voices, huh? Maybe if I could knock down the BGM a little bit. Just, just a tad. Actually, let me take a look at key assign now. Fire weapon, because the back of the box is boasting like, you know, you could use the analog sticks, but that's just not the case. You can use it to move, but you could use it to move in, uh, in another age as well. It'd be nice if I can actually use it to, you know, manipulate the camera, but that doesn't seem to be something I could do. <sighs> oh well. Did he crash it? Yeah. I had gotten in front of him. I thought there was enough leeway where I could start running, but the pause was a little bit too long. Shit, not enough space, damn it. Ooh, what is is it still viable on the expanded memory card? I mean it pulled it up fairly quick. I guess the actual saving of the data is, takes a sec, but it's no nowhere near as bad as it was with AC2. Again, we were having issues with Armored Core 2 where uh, the save files would take forever to one pull up and then two to write. It ended up taking, it was like, it was almost a minute <laughs> from the feel of it. it. Took almost a minute long to get that in. Ah, shit, all right. Same kind of situation. It looks like more missions will pop up. Uh, if you fail one, so like the game kind of advances on itself. A bomb has been planted on one of our trends. The bomb is designed to I'll the give this another try just to see, but at the same time, I almost feel like I might need a better generator before we can actually do this one fairly proficiently. It's like a similar situation though that we needed to um, chase the truck in Armored Core 2. Tore through that uh, MT there pretty damn quick. I'm assuming this guy's not making any U-turns or anything. Machine gun actually ain't that bad. It wasn't that great in the arena, facing another AC, but just here on the standard missions, it seems like it's tearing through the MTs and stuff pretty quick. We don't need to go any further than this, then. Just gonna have to make sure that he doesn't crash into me on his way down here. Don't do any wild stunts, sir. So I should have been checking to make sure that he didn't, uh... What are you doing? <laughs> have anybody chasing behind him? It's like I tried to move out of his way, and then he veers toward me. Yep. 
We'll take over from here. Good job, Raven. Nice. <laughs> He's drunk. There is no bomb. I'm saved. It is a possibility. What I remember f from this game mostly was like a bunch of roads. Raven rank S. Nice. Got a special edition. What for? Uh, I guess just for destroying enemies. Well, that's nice. Covers most of the ammunition costs, actually, so. But yeah, there was a lot of road-based missions. We're on the road a lot. At least from what I remember. Again, I don't think I've beaten any of the PS2 games prior to actually streaming them. Wasn't important enough to get a email. Defend the monorail. Quest of Mirage, Operation Area Fauna Research Laboratory, MTs, just got to defend the monorail. An attack has been launched on our research lab. Thankfully, security forces detected the breach early and were able to get all key employees aboard the monorail and out of harm's way. But for some reason, power to the monorail has been cut and is just sitting on the tracks. The employees on board are integral to our research efforts and must be protected. The security team is focused on restoring power and safeguarding the lab. Protect the monorail until the power is brought back online. You got it, buddy. System engaged. Raven, top there. security says there are MTs heading this way. Uh, any idea what direction? We still don't have power. Radar active. Targets closing. One of them I was pump, uh, pumping a bunch of ammo into, but it's holding out pretty well. up a little bit. The strategy is just like to get right up on top of you. Get out of here. Area secure. Good work. I took a lot of damage from that one. I'm expecting the AC repair cost hit me plenty, but Objective achieved. we'll see. I don't think the payout was actually all that great either. Seems like we get a bonus for dispatching enemies, though. Which wasn't the case with previous ones. Yeah, yeah, he used a lot of ammunition too. Additional reward covered most of the AC repair, but we almost had 10,000 uh, in ammunition reimbursement. So only ended up getting about 6,000 credits out of that. Not so great.
I just gotta press up. <laughs> that way we get to the latest one. Raven, let me start by thanking you. Power interruptions resulting from rerouting adjustments are not uncommon, but the timing of the most recent one is highly suspicious. We have little choice if it was the work of the controller, but this doesn't change the fact that we suffered tangible losses due to the incident. Under the current system, with the controller having so much influence, keeping Laird running smoothly is becoming more and more difficult. That the controller plays a vital role in our existence is not in question, but we must start making use of its presence to bring about more reliable order. It's crazy talk, man. Can't go against this system. Alright, um, we haven't really done anything different, but let's try fight and wake up. Wake up! Grab a brush and put on a little makeup. Easy enough. Oh shit, did I select? Yes. Does it default to no? I hope it defaults to no. It does, good. Wasn't that good of a replay anyway. Strasburg. A true hothead. He could think about once in a... Uh, wait, all he could think about once an opponent that's in his sights uh, is to engage. He sometimes gets so caught up in the action that he will actually stop in place and fire blind. He has no respect for all those afraid to take a little beating. Look at the bottom on that one. That guy's got some weird AC parts. <laughs> I disguise the fade away, the shake up. Yep. I, I'm not a an avid chop suey listener, but something the wake up, <laughs> whatever that guy's name was. I don't know if it was him or his AC. It just triggered that memory in my head. Uh, let's see here. I don't have that much money, but I might have enough to get at least a slightly better generator. Got about thirty-seven thousand. How much do these cost? Where is the do I have to pull up the... Oh no, it's on the bottom of the main picture there. There we go. But I had to pull up the stats in order to see how much it cost. I'm a little disappointed. Wait, it doesn't show any sort of comparison or anything like that? No comparisons whatsoever compared to what I already have equipped, unless I don't have a generator equipped, which I can't imagine that being the case. I've got the CGP ROVX. Uh, let's see, energy output 6,000, maximum charge 28,000, red zone 68,000. See, I want to try to get that a little bit further down the red zone, because the red zone is like, it feels like it takes up a third of the actual energy gauge. I'm sure it doesn't, but... You know, if I had it a little bit lower, I think it'd work a little bit better for me. Sometimes I lean a little bit too heavy on the boosters. Where are you at? Generator, there you are. Well, <laughs> I think, well, okay, there's one more. Red Zone 4000. Oh, this is actually substantially better. Wow, it was only a thousand credit difference. And <laughs> it's like so much better, except for, I don't know if the calorific value being higher is better or worse. Maybe both. I gotta be careful now though, because again, it used to be that you could just sell a part for the exact amount that you bought it for and no issue was given. So, you know, you could 
build up enough credits after a while just by selling out the parts that you just previously purchased to get new equipment, but since I'm not getting nearly as much money anymore, I'm not even half, uh, comparatively speaking, from what we've seen with the machine gun. So, it's like, question is, should I just keep saving and get something that's slightly better than that, or... The only thing is, this weighs a lot more, so that might end up hindering me. Of course, there's this one for 66,000 credits. I think I'm just going to go for this one. This KGP one. Yeah. Get that equipped. Sell that. Uh, the ammo costs are kind of hurting me, but I do think the machine gun is actually performing pretty well, so I think I'm going to sell this rifle. Holy shit. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Maybe not. 29. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was wrong. I was looking at the credit. I thought the price was, um, how much it, it costs by default, and I thought the credit was how much you were getting. Credits is how much I have. Okay, so I was wrong. I think it, I think it is a 1-1 resale value, so now we don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> Maybe. Actually, thinking about it, let me take a look now and see what sort of energy weapons we've got, if we have any. Because if I could get a decent energy weapon right off the bat, I would totally go for it. Got a shotgun. I didn't like those in AC2. I don't know that I was too keen on them in the PlayStation series either, but might be okay. Pulse rifles are basically guns. What's up, Trav? They are 1 1 resale through the whole series except for Armor Core 5. Okay. There's some Verdict Day along with that. That's what I figured, but I was misreading the. Uh, prompt that popped up when you pull it up to sell. So I got a little worried. I don't know, the pulse rifles weren't terrible. Or they haven't been in the past. I think I think it's probably viable. Well, the other thing too was I had optional parts to make the fire rate a little bit faster. The biggest detriment to them, I think, was how slow the fire rate was on these guys. But the optional part to up the energy weapon fire rate was actually uh, enough to make it much, much better. Are you going to have a blade on the right hand? That's weird. Go in with dual swords. Yeah, we might just stick with this. Although I will take a look at optional parts and see what there is. Do shell base damage. Just energy base. Just shocked impact. Just generator capacity. Gun time. Sight lock. Breaking. Turning speed. Energy power, that one's good. Improved fire rate energy weapons, that's what I'm looking for. And that is 45,000 credits, great. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a while. I think um, I think when I can afford both of them, that's when I'll get that for an energy weapon, maybe. Just because it just, I seem to remember it sucking so bad with Armored Core 2. No, 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 let's go back to the missions. See what we got here. Defend Nairi Bridge or Nair Bridge and rescue the survey team. Hmm. Another team in need of rescue. The survey team we infiltrated into Mirage's research facility was discovered and is currently trapped. They're doing what they can to hold out, but the odds aren't in their favor. Enter the facility and help them escape. Mirage's forces will do their best to destroy the survey team. Make sure they fail. Yes, Master. Failure is imminent. For them. <laughs> Not for me. Hopefully. Hold on. I just noticed that uh, my mouse has low battery.
Twitch. Fortunately, I'm not going to be using it too much while I'm streaming off of the PS2, so it's not really a worry so much. But while I'm streaming, I might as well pop it on because I'm going to have to be doing a little bit of work after I finish up with the stream. No, don't abort the mission. The survey team needs assistance. Hurry up and find them. Move it! We need help now! I can't go any faster, sir. You rush me, it'll only take longer. That red zone is a lot better to work with. Seems like we're getting a slightly better recharge rate, too, so... <laughs> okay. I could destroy the control panel, I'm sure. Raven, cover us. What the hell is going on there? Make sure they get to the escape point. Hold on, what the hell? Sorry. Oh good, I think it was just a hair that got loose. It was on my neck. I felt like something was crawling on my neck. Which, there was a spider that was crawling on me last night, so... Freaking out. Over there! Over there! Over where? Everybody fire me. Stop him. Okay, get out of the way first. Sirs and or madams. Oh shit. I was the same situation that happened. <laughs> Maybe if I abort, no one will know. Same situation that happened in the uh, early mission that we tried. Or was that uh, another age? Now I forget. It was like all those people were getting in my way. <laughs> it looked like they were out of the way and then they kind of like veered back into it. You bastards. Which I keep forgetting to save between missions. I don't know why, considering that with uh, Armored Core 2, I was like saving after every mission, just because of how hard that game was. I know, sorry. I didn't mean to kill them, they just kind of veered in the direction of my gun. I guess next time I'll just have to like jump in front of them. <sighs> Can we still do it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it should be that one, right? The but there was another mission. I'm pretty sure. I think there was two here. Maybe not. Hopefully not. Hope we didn't miss out on anything. System engaged. I feel like it was right at the end there, because like, the game map could not continue on any further unless they expanded it after the fact. Sporadic there. Survey team identified. Make sure they get to the escape point. Over there! Bet you I probably could have just moved on from these guys and I had to worry about them. But they do give us the bonus for destroying additional MTs, so if I can afford it. Might as well do it.
100% make sure that they are not in the line of fire. We made it. Thanks for the help. Back away from that just in case it <laughs> ends the mission prematurely. Alright, it wasn't a hard mission. I just accidentally shot the research team the first time around. It sucks, but... You know. One of those things you can't always account for. Not that great a payout. I don't think we got any bonus for destroying the MTs. Dang. It sucks. Closure of sector, sector 302 from Crest. Controller ordered Sector 302 sealed the other day. Please be advised this area is now off limits. Closure was deemed necessary in order to counter the recent increase in terrorist activity. Uh, the philosophies of those responsible are in direct conflict with those of the controller, and the situation is spun out of control. The controller is spinning out of control? Doing loop-de-loops in there, I'm sure. We're exploring a number of different options for dealing with this threat, and we ask the citizens to assist us in our efforts. I mean, no regular citizen, sir. But I will do my best. Yeah, save time's not that bad. Let's see if we could recoup our loss by checking out the arena. Taking on this Strasbourg. It's been traumatized for whatever reason. Oh, no, no, no. That was a previous guy. This is a guy that's, like, really angry or something. Now. Oh, okay. Loading. There you go. Starting him off behind me. Shit, snuck up on me. Well, this guy sure is mobile. Jeez. Itself, but I guess not. Night Monarch, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Or tonight, as the case may be. It certainly is for me. That's the icon for the machine gun I'm using made you think of the Halo Magnum. <laughs> Might have a slightly similar uh, profile, perhaps. It's not too bad. I was kind of wary about it when I first equipped it. I'm like, eh. do I want this? It's been okay in the arena. Uh, obviously, you don't get to see the effects of it uh, as much in the arena as you do just in the regular missions. But, boy, it's been shredding through the MTs while we've been doing the single player. Or, well, sing it's all single player. While we've been doing the main story stuff. 2,500 credits for that. Twin Head B. Twin Head W's older sister. She usually fights alongside her brother in the role of main attack element. And in doing so, diverts attention away from his presence. Their difference in rank has ruffled her feathers a bit. He's a cool looking AC though. I haven't played since AC1. Played a bit of 4A uh, and hated it. Now super hyped for 6. Nice. Um, I own everything except for 5 and Verdict Day. Those are the only two I don't own. And I've played bits and pieces of every single one that I own, but I don't think I've ever finished anything from the PS2 eras. None of these games I've actually ever beat. 
or got all the way through. And uh, four, I'm pretty sure I beat. Four answer, I think I just kind of touched, but I don't think I ever went all the way through it. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get through some of these at some point. We've already beaten all three of the PlayStation, the original PlayStation games on stream, and I've done two. I decided to skip another age because it was just missions. <laughs> I like I like to have a little bit more variety, even if it's like not that much variety in the actual gameplay, but I decided to move on to three instead. We might come back to another age at some point, but before six comes out I wanted to see about finishing like a mainline one. Anyway, why not? Let's try fighting Twinhead B and her Patriot. Try and find another map, Tropical Forest, I guess. If the arena is anything like uh, AC2, it's probably not going to make too much of a difference to me. Six I'm looking forward to, though. It's been a while since I've played anything remotely considered a modern armor core. It's about as modern as it gets. And again, I don't own five or Verdict Day, so I wasn't able to see how the series kind of ended. But I hear they were different. I hear that they changed up a bit on how the game operates compared to previous ones, which I would say they're all felt pretty similar up until maybe four. It was slightly overall more than the others. Wow, that was quick. But I hear that even taking four and its changes into consideration, five and Verdict Day were a little bit more different. Three thousand credits. Snakewood. He avoids being pulled into more risky close range battles and for the most part only engages when a comfortable buffer exists between him and his opponent. Since his AC lacks offensive strength, his flight or fights can uh, be long drawn out affairs. I wonder if he's a hopper. If he's one of them jumping types, then we should probably fight it in the uh, old garage. Four and four answer was super fast motion blur, washed out color palette, etc. He wants it faster. Five was a step in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have put it that way myself, considering I haven't played it, so I just don't want to like be down on it without actually trying it. However, uh, I have heard that fans of most of the Armored Core series did not really like 5 or Verdict Day that much. Just started Verdict Day the other day. It's interesting, very different, has some mechanics you like. Yeah, so I mean, sometimes different can be good, but I think with especially a series that's as long running as this one is, or at least maybe not even long running, but has as many installments as this one does, uh, yeah, sometimes when you change things up significantly, you can alienate your existing fan base. So it certainly happened with a lot of other franchises. But uh, yeah, seemingly a lot of people seem to be positive on, you know, what 6 is looking like. We'll find out in a few days. Let's give the garage a try then. I think that's naturally the next one in line, so whatever. I think one of these days, just because the discs are, because I've been, I've been playing everything off physical so far, <clears throat> but one of these days I'm going to have to try five and Verdict Day. Probably going to look into emulation with that, RCP, uh, RCPCSX or whatever, three. Whatever the one for the P PS3 emulator is probably what I'll be looking to for that one. Um, one of my acquaintances has already uh, said they've played it all the way through with no problems. This guy's definitely jumping around. I'm wondering if it would have made a huge difference. Doesn't seem like he has that much capability to actually hop up all that far. But I'm wondering if it would have made a huge difference if we were in a more open environment. A lot of these times, these guys that are super evasive like this, it's good to find a map where there's a low ceiling. But in Armored Core 2, there was no such thing. So if you ever came across an enemy that was like super evasive and just constantly jumping around, we're kind of out of luck. I think the one that I had the biggest issue with, uh, eventually he would like, you could like back yourself up into a corner 
and he was constantly trying to hop over you to get behind you, and if you back yourself up into a corner, he would actually land on top of you, and then you could just look straight up and start shooting at him. Uh, AC5 has a Mega Man like jump mechanic up buildings, which is neat. Oh, okay. So, like Mega Man X type stuff where you could like wall jump. Uh, you can rush towards enemies and Goomba stomp them, which is really satisfying. Beware 5 and VD are god awful to emulate. I mean, yeah, maybe. But, like I said, I, I've, my, one of my acquaintances, they constantly emulating and tell me, absolutely swear that they had no problems doing verdict day and um rc piece sx i don't know what the hell the encoding is on it <laughs> what, the, what the name is the whatever the emulator the main emulator for the ps3 apparently got a major update sometime this year so maybe it helped out i don't know worst comes to worst i remember those games being slightly cheaper than the ps2 ones so maybe uh, after armored core 6 comes out those prices will die down a little bit because I know last year after the announcement of Armored Core, I had another friend that was looking at getting them, and he was like, oh, well, maybe I should see, you know, catch up with the old Armored Core series. And, like, naturally, anytime there's, like, a long dormant franchise or something, and, like, oh, a new movie's coming out for it, or, oh, a new video game's coming out for it, then everybody's trying to sell their old original copies or whatever for inflated values, so. It's like 2K to get the whole collection at this point. Yeah, it sucks. I got the bulk of the PS2 games for under 200. I think I had gotten most of them in a lot. That included the bulk, um, Last Raven back to, I think it was a little bit before Nexus, because I think the only ones that I had to buy separately were Another Age and Three. And I think all the rest of them were included in that lot, which was like under 200 bucks it was like close to 100 back when i bought it but that was like armored core 2 and it must have been silent line and nexus nine breaker and last raven and then i think i bought three and another age separate and i remember another age being like dirt cheap like that, i think that one's still pretty dang cheap but i remember getting that one for like 15 bucks you just emulated everything except for verdict day so you can still buy that digitally oh you can still buy that digitally huh Probably still on the uh, Xbox store then, because th those weren't PlayStation exclusive. I think 4 through Verdict Day were all uh, multi-platform console. So, uh, but 5 probably is not available digitally. I think that one probably predated a little bit if I had to guess. Who's the next one? Cascade, former street racer. He savors the rush experienced when he turns on his AC's overboost function. Barely stationary at any point during combat, he constantly jets to and fro around the arena. He is quick to abandon battles where he feels outmatched. Hmm. Probably is. Bought it on PSN. Five was not available, just Verdict Day. Okay. Well, that's a shame. It's nice, kinda, that the uh, PlayStation Network is still selling games on, like, PS3. The only problem is... Uh, the process that it takes to like actually get money into it. <laughs> it used to be you could just make like card purchases, but now you have to have money in the wallet and you can't even like put money in the wallet on the PS3. At least not in my region. What I had to do was put money in the wallet from the PS4 and then go back to the PS3, launch that up, and do the PSN from there and make purchases. Stupid. But I'll check. I would check Xbox first for me to see if they've got it on. Just because it'd be easier for me to actually uh, purchase the damn thing. Oh no, I'm getting overheated. The worst mechanic introduced in Armor Core 2 was the damn overheat mechanic. Absolutely hated it. I'm surprised Machine Gun's got as much range as it does. Not so fast now, huh?
I think with the PS1 games, when I had got those, I bought those all individually. Uh, original Armored Core was still pretty cheap. I think I got that one for like 30 bucks or something at the time. Uh, Project Phantasma was the one that was selling for the most. <clears throat> I think most of the copies I was seeing at the time were like ranging about like 70, 80 bucks, which I thought was too high. I saw a lot on eBay where a guy was selling like five games for a hundred bucks and it had like some crap in there. I shouldn't say crap because they're decent games. There's like Twisted Metal, Final Fantasy IX, something else, something else, and then Project Phantasma. Um, and I messaged him and I said, I'll give you half of what you want for this one game and you can keep the rest and you can put it back up to sell or whatever you want to do. So I ended up getting Project Phantasma for 50 bucks because he agreed to it, which was good at the time. I don't know if it's decreased or increased since then. Probably increased, but I remember feeling quite chaff about that. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, Master of Arena was cheap too. I got, um, uh, I don't remember how much I got it for, but I got, I got it with shrink wrap, which is pretty crazy. So it was like brand, brand new. When I pulled out those games to stream, uh, I pulled out that one. Disc was super clean, like super nice finish on it. Never been played before. So it was nice. Uh, the only thing was it was like a four hour game. <laughs> so. <laughs> at least for the main stuff. I suppose there was a little extra tidbits I could have done, but yeah, it uh, didn't end up didn't end up uh, being that long of a commitment. Oh well. Uh, you kill for a twisted metal game reboot. Are they not thinking about doing that with with the um, the TV show, quote unquote? I thought that was all part of the master plan was to get a new game out. Uh, Guidos. He relies heavily on his AC's weapon arms to carry him to victory. A bit over the top. He's flashy and popular. Many feel that his limited repertoire is best suited for combat with members of the arena's lower echelon and wouldn't cut it higher up. I don't know what the hell's going on in his emblem, but it's interesting. Gorenica. Oh, is this the guy that, uh, I think this is the guy that helped us out on that early mission. Let's fight in the wasteland. As a pain to buy on the PS3. Yeah, just that process. Like, Sony... I mean, people had to fight tooth and nail and, like, sign petitions or whatever and email Sony to keep them from discontinuing the PSN service. Which, I mean, is better than Nintendo. Nintendo, no argument whatsoever, just completely got rid of, you know, shops on the Wii and the DS, 3DS. They just did not care whatsoever. Um, but at least Sony, you know... Even if they're not uh, making it easy for people to buy games on the PS3 and the PSP, at least they still have the shop open. Or wait, no, they might have discontinued the PSP shop, actually. I <laughs> think about it. I think the Vita shop is what's still open. Ah, oh, friend, I'm a little disappointed. You seemed like such a badass at the beginning of the game. And I did defeated you easily with my only swapped parts being a generator and a gun. Thank you, Prelo. Appreciate you being here. Forty-five hundred credits, not that much, but something. Hey, the other twin head. Younger brother of Twinhead B, he is most often accompanied by his sister when participating in missions. His role in this deadly duo is as a closer, stepping in at the last possible moment to finish the job. He enjoys combat and shows a lot of potential. AC name is Animal. I like the color schemes this guy's got going on. There's been like some really gaudy ones in the past, I think especially with Master of Arena and... Uh... Oh, can I not fight him? Oh shit. Oh, I'm looking ahead. We got Vice, never mind. Uh, but yeah, Master of Arena and Project Phantasma had some like really nasty looking HCs. These guys are a little bit better on their color schemes. Uh, Vice, while well, he has no defining traits in either his AC setup or combat style, he pilots a well-rounded unit and adapts easily to various battlefield conditions. His fights are usually uneventful, but every once in a while he puts on a good show. Well, it's better than they could say with most of the early on uh, rankings. I feel like... With some of the previous games, like they they talk down to everybody like they're absolute shit until you get to like rank, I don't know, twenty up. Like this guy is stupid, but he has good parts. 
or this guy really has no business being here, but he's got a lot of heart. But now they seem to be a little bit more up on the uh, lower tier rankings. Uh-oh, we got a hopper. At least for right now, he's not hopping. Sideswiped him with that. I didn't think I was going to hit him with that angle. Got a little bit of a bigger hitbox than I was expecting. It's nice. The lock on I've been noticing, I think at least up with uh, until another age, is the same thing. But the lock on seems to stick onto enemies a little bit better than they did in Armored Core 2 and prior. Noticing the gun like veering off quite a bit, but still managing to hit. I feel like if I was doing this in Armored Core 2 or something, I'd just be like shooting at the wall in the distance. Alright, we already read Twin Head. Might as well see what he's got. See if I can get through the E ranks. King of the Pond. Uh, abandoned factory, sure. He could go be with his sister down there, in the lower ranks. Hopefully I could beat him and don't get my shit kicked in. We shall see. Where's he? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like hopping up against the wall or something. Trying to get the drop on me, are you? second there, throwing me some missiles. Nice vocals. I won! Yay! I'm king of the E-rank. Got 5,500 credits for that. Pylon. It's an interesting emblem. Rather unusual character, this raven is afraid of heights. <laughs> okay. And it is only when he's piloting an AC that the fear is suppressed. Oh. Well, well, why even bother bringing it up? Once strapped in, he takes to the skies and is a skilled aerial combatant. Oh. So it's like exact opposite of... Okay. Uh, piloting technique makes up for his AC shortcomings. Well, whenever we fight him, I shall be sure to choose the garage. Royal Mist, are you familiar with the name Fixer? If you should get any email from him, I recommend taking his advice. This is a warning from me to you. There are unwritten rules, even in the arena. Tread carefully. You know what? I was hoping to get a part. I guess, all right. You know what? Let's go ahead and fight Pylon. And his Tower of Wind. Because I wanted to see what I unlocked. But I guess you need to clear the ranking and not necessarily just be on top of it. Coming for you, brother. Knock you off your tower. Yeah, have them aerial techniques working out for you when you don't have a sky to work with. Got 
hovering around in the <laughs> air, which still makes them hard to hit. He's, he's trying. I like that there's something in the garage that you could hit that cuts the power. I'm not sure what it is. But it took a while to do it the first time I played it here, and then almost immediately I hit whatever it was, and the power just went out. Okay, don't forget there are many doors that go all over the world. 6,000 credits. Now we are officially in the D rank. Fixer, looks like we'll be facing each other soon. Don't worry though, I'll be in top form. Your defeat should be quick and painless. Oh, ho, ho, talking big, huh? From Global Cortex, this is what I was looking for. Uh, congratulations on your new rank. We hope you will continue to perform as you have been. Recognition for your advancement, we are awarding you with the MGP VE905 generator part. <laughs> Please check the garage. You can just tell me it's a generator part. I have the nomenclature that you've got makes no difference to me whatsoever. No, 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 it's not an optional part. Assembly. I just bought a new generator, too. Uh, let's see. I guess it's this one, huh? Weighs more. Energy output. Maximum charge. Look at that. The red zone's... L oh, no, the red... What? Yeah, it's less. Why is it in the red? You think that'd be better? Okay, as long as I can still maneuver with it, sure. Oh, I keep forgetting that you can sell parts, or you have to sell parts, actually, inside this menu. Coolio. Um, well, we got a chunk of change now, so I might splurge a little bit. How much do these heads cost? A little bit. I want something with an auto mapping functionality. Area, place, name. Thank you, Akiri. I appreciate the lurk. Biosensor. We'll get a nice female voice on one of these, too, huh? Maybe. Biosensor provided, map type area and place name. Female voice. Got biosensors. Looks like this might be the one I want. Cool. Get that on there. Sell that. And since we've got the mapping function and the biosensor, we do not need... I'm assuming this is still a radar, right? Yep. Not gonna need that. There you go. Cool. And uh, maybe some new legs. Let's see if I can maybe get something that can maintain this weight, but uh, move me a little bit quicker. Actually, hold on. I hate that they're there's still no comparison, right? You can't compare between what you have equipped and what's in the shop. Yeah, it just increases the detail on the stats. That yeah, sucks. Whatever. Uh, moving ability for this is 280, so as long as I break free from probably like the 300 range, I think we'll probably see a significant difference. But, let's see. Maximum weight 4905. It's got to be something comparable to that. Those look a little stocky. Oof, okay. Yeah, the lighter looking legs don't seem like uh, they could carry quite as much. Closest one is going to be this guy. Oh god, that's a lot of money. Uh, maximum weight 4377. The rest of the bipedal stuff is all kind of in the same moving ability range. Except for, you know, the obviously like really big ones. I just don't like the digi legs. It looks so stupid. Uh, 
Uh, not ready to go into quad yet. Usually, when I start using quad legs, it's an act of desperation where I need to like carry a big load, but still be relatively mobile. But I don't like doing it. Well, um, let me try this and see if it actually can support the weight. I guess it can. Oh no, it can't. Never mind. <laughs> Shit. All right. Something else I'm sure could be lightened up. I'm sure I could do something with the arms, but. I don't know, I didn't want to make a big deal about all this. Cal Marte. And I'm sure by the time I end up swapping out other parts to make this a little bit lighter, it's probably going to end up going way over budget, so I wouldn't be able to afford all this stuff regardless, but alright. I guess let's move in that direction. See if these arms can support. I'm fine with losing a little bit of armor points. It's not a huge deal. Oh, I didn't equip those? No, no, I did equip them. So what is it talking about, like, removing shit? Or was there something else attached to that? I don't know. Alright. Let's do a little data save. we've done enough arena stuff for right now. Let's take a look and see what kind of missions we got. Uh, eliminate infiltrators. We've got destroy escaping MT. And safeguard water supply and destroy the Nairi Bridge or the Nair Bridge. That was the one that was there previously that sort of disappeared on us for a second. The target of this operation is Nair Bridge. Mirage's rapid completion of the project earned it the gratitude of local residents. We want the bridge destroyed in such a way that Mirage is blamed and their reputation ruined. Set the demolition charges at the specified locations. Be quick about it, as we want people to suspect negligence on Mirage's part, not an act of sabotage. Yeah, nobody's going to discover the bomb parts and say, hey, this was sabotaged. If civilian casualties can be incorporated into the plan, so much the better. We'll pay extra for destroying the monorails that traverse the bridge. Yeah, alright. Looks like this is a mission of... Sabotage. Raven, there isn't much time. Hurry up and set the charges. Attacked? Who dares? Surely there's not going to be any reports of there being a rogue AC coming here. Get it, thanks. One more to go. Help me keep track. All demolition charges planted. Uh, okay. I'm like, do we need to go back to the entrance or what? Just took a sec for it to kick in. Oh wait, don't blow them up yet. Out for that mission. I didn't do too bad either.
No resolution. I wanted to see the bridge blow up. Oh, I didn't notice the indicator down there. We've been doing a lot of Kisaragi missions, I'm guessing. I'm assuming that means that they're the higher the bar, the more power they have. Maybe I don't want to help Kisaragi out. Keep everybody balanced. We just discovered that someone infiltrated a mole into one of our research labs. Uh, they are we pesky. Him to move about freely, hoping that he might reveal his true purpose. But he picked up the tail and made off in one of our MTs. Our security force was sent out after him, but the MT's mobility, in addition to outside interference, have frustrated their efforts. I'm surprised they had an MT small enough for a mole to manipulate. If he makes it to the neighboring sector, pursuit will be all but impossible. Stop him before he escapes. Speed King, uh oh. I don't got the speediest AC. Raven, the target is on the move. Don't let him escape. Navy system. Engaging combat mode. Oh god, this is another This is another mission where we have to race through a facility. Oh shit. That last one was a decoy. The real target is up ahead. Ah, I should have known. But yeah, it's like chasing that truck through the uh, underground highway or whatever. It's like I couldn't keep up with that and I ended up having to hold off on that mission. Even though I do have a new generator and stuff, I don't think it'll might not be enough. I don't know. We got him. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. There's almost the exact same like structure too. Just we get nice little windows outside of the highway. S rank. Still ammunition costs eating into me. But at least it was successful. Go ahead and make another save here. Alright. Well, uh, we put in a decent amount of time with this, I suppose. Um, well, alright put it in about an hour and 45 probably would like to go a little bit longer but i think i'm gonna stop it here and uh we will resume likely tomorrow i'm glad this one is a little bit more full on the content because when i took a look at uh, another age it was like i was getting worried there for a second all right i will catch you later the monarch i thank you for being here it's good chatting with you uh, i will probably be back tomorrow around the same time Gonna be trying hitting up this game as much as possible through the week up until Thursday, uh, just because um, Thursday I'm going in for a tooth extraction and I'm probably not gonna stream for a few days after that, which unfortunately means I'm gonna miss streaming the launch of Armored Core 6, but that's okay. We should be able to pick up with it on the following week. But I will be looking at trying to finish this game this week, so if you guys are interested in coming back, then. Uh, more streams around the same time and hopefully go on for a little bit longer maybe or maybe i'll start a little bit earlier who knows uh in any case it's been fun thank you guys for watching i appreciate it as always but uh we'll be calling it quits for right now let's take a look all right we've got uh, oh, we got Be Known. He's streaming some Smite. Be Known, friend of the stream. Uh, I haven't had a chance to raid him in a while, so we'll go ahead and do a little raid there. But in the meantime, 
Farewell, friends. And we'll see you all next time. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get through Armored Core 3 within the following week here. But until then, you guys have a good night. See you next time. Catch you later.